Welcome everybody, it's Carrie and Loves to Craft here, and I have a little bit of a random haul slash um, craft with me video today. Um, so, <clears throat> I have a, a few items that I purchased. One's from Vintage Paper Joy from Etsy, and um, I got some really really cool um papers i gotta be careful there looks like i taped my oh, 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 oh looks like i'm ripping it oh, that's okay okay so these are definitely vintage and i've never seen anything um in I haven't seen anything like this yet um, so I thought this would be really cool for my um, journaling my art journaling so I'll just kind of just do a little bit of um, flip through the back of it's just um, um, text but I just I love the images are so so cool I've never seen um, images like these um, and I've bought quite a bit of different um, vintage um, book pages and stuff um, but isn't this gorgeous isn't that gorgeous guys what do you think awesome isn't it there's just so much I can do now oh yeah this one here also has the writing in the back and oh yeah and this one here has these faces on it so that's the only thing is is that i'll have to choose which ones that i want to use when they're double-sided with the images uh so yeah that was kind of bummer but this one's not <laughs> oh, this one has just the text on the back this one the text on the back This paper, the text on the back. Look at those designs. Isn't that awesome? Look at those. Oh, these images are just stunning. Very art, uh, like I'm getting like a art deco type of vibe from this. Oh, love it. So cool, guys. Who would not want to use that in their junk journals? Now, these are not copyright. Uh, I believe this is from a 1953 book, is what my order says. And you can kind of tell that these uh, pictures aren't very old. I mean, there's some age on it. Don't get me wrong, but they're not that old. And then this is the last one here. Oh, just stunning. So I got that. And I think I paid $10 for all those book pages. So I was quite happy with my purchase. And as well as it was... Uh, Wrapped up very nice with this and um, another piece that looks like this but has my mailing address on it. The second order I got is from Stencil Girl. I am part of the Ugly Art Club and Miss Tiffany Goffsmith is uh, one of my top five mixed media artists. <laughs> I have a lot. have a lot. <laughs> And she just came out with her own stencils. So of course, I had to, you know, support my tip. So let's try and get something here that's going to show these up a little bit better. She's got four designs. And I purchased three out of the four. But 
there is these antique type of doors that she designed. Isn't that amazing? Oh, this stencil will look good with those papers. That just gave me an idea. These um, yearbook uh, pictures with the faces. I love, love the stencil, guys. There's so much you can do with this stencil. Um, I'm so, so super happy that I got myself these. And this one, guys, look at this. Isn't that adorable? You can stencil them, watercolor them, or paint them, and then you can individually cut them out if you want, or you can leave them the way they are. So, yeah, I got those. And what else did I get? I got... From the Dollar Tree. These gnomes. Ah, look at these. Look at that gnome. Isn't that adorable or what? Like, I can't wait. I was thinking about, uh, I want to watercolor them, but I don't know if I should gesso them with some clear gesso, um, before I paint them. So I'm not sure or if I'm just going to use acrylic. But yeah, so I got those. I also picked up some mechanical pencils from the Dollar Tree. This is Zebra brand, guys. And I saw Zebra brand on Amazon. And they were selling the Zebra brand for way more than what I paid. And I only paid $1.25. And these look just like pencils, but they're mechanical. And let's just test out. I already have a little bit in. Yeah, so these are going to be good because I want to learn how to sketch. So yeah, so I got a pack of eight of mechanical pencils. So the Zebra brand. So I, I needed something a little bit hard to craft on and I've been wanting to get a craft like a glass mat craft mat to use uh, I, I can't afford Tim Holtz let's just say it and I hear the glare is really bad uh, with the light and everything so I was like mm, I don't know so I thought of an idea and you can probably get the second hand too this is one of those um, vegetable cutters that you can get at Walmart okay if you guys can see that I'm sure you guys know what I'm what this is it's glass and this is gonna be awesome I can put a little bit of paint on the side if I want if I'm doing um, an art project and it's flat and it's I can get two of these if I want to but this is a great working one and I put some um, paper underneath because I'm trying to work on my lighting situation since I'm doing YouTube and I want to see what looks good in my videos so yeah so this is, was ten dollars my last thing I got was from Aliexpress and I'm sure all of you guys shop on Aliexpress Actually, no, I got two more items to show you. So, AliExpress. Love it. I mean, you get really good deals, and surprisingly enough, you can find some really cool stuff. So, I found these. These are stencil brushes, ladies. And let me tell you, these are probably one of the best um, stencil brushes I've, I've used. So... Let's try it out, ladies. And while we'll, what we'll do is bring out one of my stencils. I just need a piece of paper. Let's find some paper. Maybe. Yep, this will work. I'll just use the back of that. And what I'm thinking to do is tape it down. 
so that's not moving and grooving. Tape this baby down. Make sure it's the right way. You don't have to use all these doors all in one. You can individually use them. But I mean, I might as well stencil them all out, right? Since we're here. Alright, so I tape, but I want to also tape down. So we got this tape down. I just want to move that up a little bit so we're in a frame here. Okay, go. We're good. Make sure that's straight. Alright. And I'm just going to use a little bit of Payne's Gray. And let's stencil this out. Okay, so it's very soft. And like the quality is amazing. It, I don't know why it comes on a string. I don't get that. And I don't know why it comes in a tube. But um, guys, wait till you see the stencil brush. I will find the link and put it in my description box so that you guys can see how cool this works. Okay, are you ready? It goes on smooth. It's very, very smooth. I love this brush. Here, okay, we're working that in. Working that in. Move on to the next. Looks like I'm gonna have to put some more paint. Now, the only thing that I've noticed that it does soak up a lot of paint, okay? So, but I tell you, I really, really like this stencil, guys. Or sorry, the stencil brush, and I like the stencil too. <laughs> And I'm very excited that I get to use it today. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting it all before I reveal the yumminess. And I would rather use a brush because then you're getting into all those grooves on your stencil. I've only used this a couple times, and for what I saw, it worked good. So let's let's see if I was right, if it uh, holds up to my look at that, guys. Isn't that a clean stencil? brush like seriously this I gotta wash like look at that guys it's just amazing I love it love it love it love it love it oh I can't say enough about the stencil brush guys so yeah um, I wouldn't um, leave this on so it's going to harden up your brush and it's no good. I mean, you won't be able to use it anymore. So um, I would recommend that to wash it as soon as you're done doing your stenciling. But look at that application. Look at those doors. Guys, I'm going to do... After I'm done this video, I'm going to come back on and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. We're going to, I'm going to do a craft with me. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. You guys, you have no idea how cool that was. All right. All you vintage ladies out there that like shabby chic, I got something for you. All right. So I paid $2, $2 for, you ready? Are you guys ready? Sorry, I just shook my camera. On these. These are vintage um, handkerchiefs. Look at the embroidery on that. Guys, 
when I saw this, I knew, I knew that I won big. This has a little, um, I don't know what this is. It's like one of those, um, crest. Thank you. Crest. So there's a crest. Look at that. Look at, it's on all four corners, ladies. Let's just, I should actually wipe up my paint. I'm sorry, guys. I'm being messy. But you know what? I am a messy crafter, so. Yeah, I am, I am. Pretty random, too. All right, well, you know what? We can test to see how well that cleans. Um, I'm just going to grab a little bit of, I think I might even have some spray on my craft area. Look at that. Wipey, wipey, gone. Gone. All right, let's, let's take a look at this. All right. Because I know you guys are going to, like, die over these. Oh, I don't know what to do with these, so. I am not, I haven't really gotten into, like, slow stitching. And uh, I want to get into that. But, uh, guys, my attention span and patience level is very short. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how yummy that looks. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at, look at this. It's, look at that pink. It is, this is old, guys. Like, oh, I don't know. It's probably like 70 years old, I'm sure. Like, you know this is vintage, okay? This is vintage. I would say 70 years old. Oh, look at this. This here would look amazing on a journal. You know what I should do? This might give me an idea, actually. If you guys are interested. I'll iron them out. And I'll scan them in. And if you guys want them, see how many people are interested in wanting a scanned image. Email me. My email is in the about section on my YouTube. Let me know if you're interested. Unfortunately, they're not for sale. <laughs> guys, look at that. This just has the one corner though. Two dollars. Like I would just scan the ones that just have the whatever you guys want. But look at that blue trim. I love the color of that blue trim. Look at this. This is I this is probably one of my favorites because green is one of my favorite colors. Look at that St. Patrick's Day one. Look at this scalloped edge. With the clovers on it. Look at the four leaf one. Oh, it's just stunning, guys. Oh, I'm just in heaven. I haven't looked at these in a while, so I'm kind of drooling over them. Look at that corner. Look at that. Let me know if you guys have seen these napkins. Did I hit the mother load? Look at that. Look at that design. I've never seen a design like that. With the lace and it's soft. These napkins are so soft, guys. So soft. Ready for this one? A shabby chic lovers. It's got four sides. Oh, that is beautiful. You know what? I should learn how to actually draw that. 
and watercolor it. I just got myself some new watercolors. Here is one of my other favorite ones. Look at that green. Look at this, guys. Oh, this is breathtaking. Isn't that not stunning? Or what? Stunning. Oh, look at this. Look at that, guys. All on all fours. So yeah, if you guys are interested, um, I would try to um, scan them and you guys can have some of your own. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, this is on all fours, I think. Yeah, just the other images are smaller. Look at that. Detailing. It's uh, it's definitely um, definitely stitched on. It looks like it's stitched. Here is another uh, for this is old too. You can I can just this you can see that she um, didn't finish it because all it's not um, finished, but it's nonetheless it's still beautiful. And then look at this. Look at that. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed those because I sure love to look at that. And so, yeah, and then I got this um, Tropicals palette by uh, Prima. And check out those colors. I've already been playing with them. I love them. Love, love, love. I want to really get into watercolor. Um, I was just doing some, uh, I was trying to do some flowers over here, but I'm more better at doing roses. I'm learning as I'm going, but you know what? We all have to start somewhere, right? So, so there you go, everybody. I hope you all are having a wonderful uh, day and happy Thanksgiving to everybody and I look forward uh, to making something with this on my next video. Bye guys. See ya.